Hey everybody, this is Franklin of HospitalityRockstars.com where we showcase talent and highlight greatness. Coming at you with all the news that affects the hospitality industry, especially in these days in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. I'm coming at you from the state of Maryland where Governor Larry Hogan has just passed some extreme measures to make sure that now 10 or more people are not in the same space at any given time. As of 5 p.m. today, Maryland time, malls and entertainment venues will have to lock their doors and stop doing business indefinitely. How this will affect the businesses like I'm standing in front of where there are three restaurants right here. There's another one over there. How this will affect them, they still are up in the air. They're not sure if this applies to them, if, if this is a mall, if this is a strip mall. But I'm looking at three areas, another service industry area where there's a lot of uncertainty going on. Will they have customers? Will they be able to pay their bills? Will they be able to give their employees a paycheck? We want to go inside and get some responses from some of these business owners who are doing all they can to stay afloat in these very uncertain times. Let's go inside and talk to them. All right, folks, I'm standing here with Usman. He is the owner of Borgiorno Restaurant and here in the greater Baltimore area. He's been the owner since January 1st. He purchased this restaurant. And now in these very uncertain times with new stringent regulations coming down from the state's governor, we want to see what his plans are. Have you heard of the new regulations about no more now than 10 people in malls closing and entertainment venues, Usman? Yes, um, we are with the governor, I mean, uh, in this critical situation. Um, regarding the, his new rules and regulations of the restaurant and not more than 10 people in our groups. Uh, as you can see, I have um, closed the dining uh, kitchen. I mean, we, my kitchen is running uh, for the pickup only um, because we got to stay in a business. It is really hard um, to survive in this kind of situation, but we will try our best. Um, we will have to help the government to work along together with this one. Um, and I hope this will be over soon. Um, and we will back in the business. Indeed, there has to be a lot of uncertainty going on with your employees right behind you, with your customers coming in. A lot of uncertainty. Do you have any contingency plans? What are you going to do if you have to sh uh, close doors at 5 p.m. today? What are your backup plans? Um, I have not thought about it, but uh, there going to be a backup plan for the, I guess, uh, we have to survive, I mean, with a, with a saving or, I mean, we have to do something to make ourselves living. And I have... Uh, four or five employees and they're planning same thing. Um, they're thinking about how they're going to survive. This would definitely affect your neighbors too. There's two more restaurants to the uh, left of you. Have you talked to them about what's going on at all? Have you guys had any conversations? Uh, no, I have not got any conversation, uh, but I have to talk to the guy um, across the street, which is a subway guy, and they have cut down their hours as, I, as well I did too. Uh, I hope after two weeks, this should be back at the normal so we can all, you know, we are working mans, you know, we've got to work together and, you know, make money to pay the employees and make money to pay the other bills. So Indeed, Usman, thank you so much. Anything else you want to say to anybody watching on HospitalityRockstars.com? There's a lot of industry people who are paying attention to our channel. Anything you want to say to them? Uh, only thing we can say, yes, we can work together uh, with this in this hard condition. Uh, we have to play it safe. Uh, not to spread this virus so this can you know be finished as quickly as possible Usman thank you so much best wishes to you and all your employees thank you so much thank you thank you sir and definitely, folks, we also wanted to give you the best advantage here. We're in Usman's restaurant, Bujerno, And obviously, you can see what he did with his tables and chairs because there's no more dine-in. There's literally no more dine-in. I can't believe I'm saying these words. But you cannot dine in a restaurant in the state of Maryland and many other places all over the nation to try to, as they've been saying, flatten the curve and to limit exposure of people congregating one place. So we want to let you see what we're seeing. Usman, as he mentioned... Uh, is not letting folks dine in. So you see what he did with his tables and chairs over here. Um, they're lined up. No one's going to be able to sit here and, and have a meal. And this is all compliance. What you're seeing now is legal compliance, making sure that people are not sitting in here eating a meal. You have to come on in. You have to order your food. You have to exit. You have to eat it elsewhere. Sometimes I feel like I'm dreaming when I'm saying these things, but literally, I'm looking at a subway over here. 
I'm um, looking at Usman talking to one of his customers, his employees working their, their tails off to uh, deliver great product and pizza to their customers, but there's literally no dine-in. You're not going to dine in anywhere, and that's going to change again at 5 o'clock. So please, stay with us. This is HospitalityRockstars.com. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We're going to keep bringing you the best of the best. Boots on the ground. You like his pizza, huh? We love it. <laughs> He's doing a good job. They love the pizza. Thank you so much, Usman. This is his dining room. This is just one small story of the thousands of restaurants all over, this, over the state of Maryland. No dine-in. Uh, we're going to go outside and have a look around. Uh, airy times, folks. Airy times. Please be safe. So, folks, there you have it. This is just one small, small story. A restaurant owner, his employees, trying to rapidly comply with stringent enforcements coming down from the state's governor and from regulations coming down from the federal government as well. What's weird is when I do stories like these, normally you part with the shaking of the hand or normally you're closer to the person that you're talking to. As you saw, uh, I had to keep distance from the restaurant owner, Usman, uh, for social distancing purposes, um, for safety purposes, um, and just to be prudent. This is Franklin of HospitalityRockstars.com, where we showcase talent and highlight greatness. We got boots on the ground. We want to be your best seat.